Hi friends, this is Deanna here today, and today it's a lovely rainy day outside, which is the perfect day to prepare patterns to sew up. Bless you, Bo is with me here, and we are going to be taking some measurements today and working on sleeves. I know that there's a lot of questions about making sure that a sleeve is going to fit, bicep width, length of sleeve. So I'm going to show you how to measure your arms and get the perfect fit. And we're going to hope that Bo lets me do it because he just wants to play today. Let's get to it. All right, first things first, we need a measuring tape. And any measuring tape will do. A lot of times, one uh, tip I'm going to give you is you want to grab your measuring tape every once in a while and measure it against a hard, a hard, did you see that? Did you hear it? Perfect day for doing this kind of stuff because I don't really want to turn on my machines while that's happening, but I can cut my pattern pieces out. I can, um, uh, Oh, what is the word? What is it that we're doing right now? I can go ahead and grade my pattern pieces and find my perfect width and all that stuff right now while I don't have to worry about using any of my electronics at the moment. Back to what I was saying. You want to grab your measuring tape because they kind of tend to stretch out sometimes over time. Um, and you want to place it against a hard ruler and make sure that your measurement is correct on it. If not, it's time to toss and get a new one so you can get the correct measurements. So you also, another tip when you're measuring yourself is it's best if you have someone to help you measure yourself. Um, because when we're measuring ourselves, sometimes we can bend or do something that makes the measurements not be the true measurements. So if you have someone to help you, that's the best way to do it. The third thing is that it's best if you do it without clothing. So if you don't have, uh, if you have undergarments on, that's the best way to do it. But I'm just showing you how to do it. So I'm not necessarily taking my true measurements right now. So that's why I'm doing it with my shirt on. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure for sleeve length. So instead of just going all the way down and measuring your whole arm this way, which is kind of difficult to do, what we're going to do is we're going to fold our, do like the little chicken wing. You know, we're just, it's like, -na 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 -na. okay, I'm sorry about that. We're going to do the chicken wing and we're going to grab, start at your shoulder right here, which is where your sleeve should hit. And we're going to place our measuring tape right there and go down to your bend. Again, this is why you have to have somebody to help you because it's kind of difficult. Bo? No, he can't help me. He, he can't help me. Okay, so you're going to measure to the bend of your elbow. We're just going to pretend that I'm measuring to the belt bend on my elbow right here and we're gonna write that measurement down I see 13 it's probably not right but that's what it is then I'm gonna grab from that bend right here and we're gonna measure your forearm all the way down to your wrist we're gonna measure it measuring we're just gonna pretend that I measured it because again it's really hard to do by yourself get a helper and my son is not gonna to want to be on camera and so that's why I'm trying to show you and just kind of holding it. So you want to measure that form. What you want to do after you do that is you want to add quarter inch seam allowance for where it sews up right here at the shoulder and you want to add a half an inch seam allowance for the um, um, hem. Now if you have a cuff you need to add the seam allowance, the, yeah the seam allowance, quarter inch or whatever your seam allowance is for the pattern you're using and then the cuff, the length of the cuff uh, because obviously you're gonna have you know, a longer piece right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your pattern. All right, once you have your measurements, you're going to put your pattern piece down. You're going to start at the straight edge. You're going to start from the shoulder all the way down, not the shoulder, yeah, the shoulder all the way down to your uh, hemline at the bottom, your, yeah, the end of your sleeve, and make sure that it matches up. You added the top of your, uh, 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 the top of your arm, the bend of your arm, the bottom of your arm, and then plus seam allowance at the top and hem allowance at the bottom, and they should all add up. This pattern already has seam allowance and hem allowance, so that number should match up. Now let's say that this number is shorter. So my sleeve measures less than what my measurements are. I'm gonna just what we're going to do is a lot of sleeve patterns come with a little line of where you're going to add length. I'm just going to grab it right here, mid sleeve. I'm going to cut my pattern piece 
and I'm just going to add however much I need to add to it an inch, half an inch, keep going, whatever it is that you need to add. If you have very long arms, and then you're just gonna blend it in when you cut your pattern piece. You can add a little piece of paper right here to help you keep that gap. If your sleeve is too long and you need to shorten it, you're going to overlap it like so. Okay, so you're gonna place it, let's say, that's a whole inch, that's a lot. Okay, so let's say we have to overlap it. We tape it down, and when we cut, we're gonna taper that in. I'm gonna taper it at both sides. I wanna put it right in the middle and taper it in so it comes straight down. Just go straight down and grade that piece right there so that it's going to be the correct length. All right, friendly friends, now we already have our length situated. But you're like, you know what, a lot of times when I wear a uh, hoodie or something like that and I print my size, I feel like it's too tight on my bicep because you've been working out or I feel like it's too loose on my bicep. Well, whatever it is, you can measure your bicep to make sure to get a true size that you need. Because again, our bodies are totally different from one person to the next. So what might fit, might fit somebody uh, body-wise might not be the same as um, bodice, might not be the same as your arm width, or might not be the same as so many other measurements. So you wanna make sure that you get the perfect measurement to your body. So we're gonna measure or bicep. Again, this is best done with someone to help you because um, it's kind of hard to measure when you don't have somebody helping you. You want to measure by holding your bicep right here and you're going to measure right around the widest part of your bicep. Whoop, come on. This is also good if you have a smaller smaller arms, so that way it's not have you don't have like a bunch of of fabric loose at the bottom. So you're going to go ahead and measure your bicep at the biggest part and then you're going to write that measurement down. 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 I said down. Down. And the great thing about uh, most of Ellie and Mac patterns nowadays is that they come with a size chart for your bicep as well. So you can go ahead and find that size chart of your bicep for the pattern and uh, see where you fall. Now I happen to fall right on my size. I'm a size. I wear a size medium and I happen to fall right in the size medium range. But we're gonna pretend that I wear a size small and I'm going to the medium or that I wear a size medium and my bicep is a size small. And I'm gonna show you how you can alter your pattern so that you can uh, grade your uh, bicep, but you still want everything else to fit your size medium or the length and everything like that. You want it to be able to fit around your medium size arm size and all that. So you don't wanna just print the size small because it probably will not fit. Um, you want it to be big enough that it will fit, uh, but you wanna um, grade it at the bicep. So let me show you how to do that. It's super easy, super quick, and it helps to get a perfect fit. All right, so one thing I love about um, printing these layers uh, pattern through Adobe Reader is that you can print different sizes at the same time and not all the sizes. So what you wanna do is when you uh, go to print your, your pattern, you wanna select the two sizes where your pattern, with your arm, where you fit, your the size you fit into and the size that your bicep fits into. And you wanna cut, you wanna cut on the outer size, the biggest one. So either if you fit the biggest one or if you fit the smaller one, cut the one out, the outer one. So you have both sizes right here ready for you. So I actually am going to say that I am a small and I fit into a medium. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this marker. Actually, I'm going to grab a darker marker. So hopefully you can see it. And what I'm going to do is this is not much of a difference. You can't see it very well. Um, but if you have a bigger gap, it's much better. So you're going to grab is you're going to start here at the, um, uh, uh, the, this is the, where the sleeve meets right here. I lost a little piece, but you get the idea right there. And you're going to start shaving it down. You're gonna shave it down and grade it and go all the way down to about your elbow and then you start coming out again. So that it comes in at the bicep or it goes out. If you're a medium, a small and your bicep is bigger, you wanna space out and cut around the outside and then you can come right back in so that you continue a small all the way down. And it really narrows down, it kinda of evens out. But if, if there's a bigger gap, you're gonna go in or out more. It literally is just about 
grating those two sizes in. So then you can go ahead and grab your scissors and when you're cutting that size small, uh, here I am in my size small, then I'm gonna cut out and I have right here my bicep. And then it comes right in again so that it fits at the arm side up here still. So I've got it all correctly right there. Then I have my extra space that I need for it to fit into and you're just like, actually this one is even a little bit too drastic. You wanna do it slowly so you can barely tell that it's coming out and going back in and it gives you a little bit more room. Look, all that room right there for your wiggle room for your bicep. All right, friends, I hope that was helpful. Um, the best thing about sewing your own, un uh, your own clothing is being able to get it just right for your size. Don't be intimidated and don't be afraid if something doesn't fit the first time. You made something and you feel like, wow, it doesn't fit perfectly. That's okay because what you need to do is figure out your measurements and then you can do these little uh, hacks, you can do these little adjustments to all of every pattern that you're going to sew and then things will fit correctly um, once you get them down, once you get your measurements down, once you figure out what adjustments you need to do for it to fit your body because that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to fit our own bodies um, and create something that we love and that's going to fit us perfectly. So. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think the storm is dying down. I mean, the rain is dying down, so I might get to sew after all. I'm gonna go sew my pattern up. I hope you get to sewing today. I hope you have a great project finish. I hope these uh, adjustments are helpful. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.